This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm joined to be by Super Fairway Zalfa Barrett. Zalfa, how are you doing? I'm great, man. How are you? I'm all good, thanks. Obviously, it's been a good while uh, since we've uh, last caught up. Just talked about this fight though, that you've got with Leon Woodstock and how the opportunity come about to fight each other for the vacant Commonwealth title. You know, I got a call off my uncle saying, Do you want to fight him? I said, Yeah. We've actually had a word out, and that's what it was. Leon mentioned that it's been a fight that he's always known it would happen at some point. Was you the same with regards to you thought at some point you would crossroads? Yeah, because it was the same way as an amateur. It was in the, it was, we would cross paths nearly, so it was inevitable. We're in the same team like Frank Warren, so it's in, inevitable to happen. You'd have watched Le, uh, Leon Kersey then through his career knowing that you're in the same weight division and you're under the same banner with regards to Frank Warren promoting you. What have you made of his career so far and himself as a fighter? He's a good fighter, man. He's had a good career, you know. You don't, you don't shy away from no one. He's there to fight. He's there to try and win, so it's a good fight for me. So how do you expect the fight between yourselves to go on Saturday night with, with regards to the tactics or the styles? How do you expect it all to gel together? It's off about win. Anything he brings up, I'll, I will adapt to it. I see you've both suffered one defeat during your career. Whoever was to lose on Saturday night, where did they go on the back of it? I don't know. I don't. Ask Leon, I don't know. What would it mean for you to be able to pick up the Commonwealth title then on the, on the back of what's been a little bit of, I don't really want to say a rebuilding job, but on the back of that Ronnie Clark defeat, to pick up the Commonwealth title now, what would it mean to you? It is what it is, you know. I'm not, I'm not here to become a champion, I want to be a world champion. It's part of the journey. Don't get wrong, it's an achievement. I put it in my mum's living room, but, you know, it's just something that I've won, I will win, and then get back to training and conquer whatever needs to be conquered. What have you learned about yourself and your own fighting abilities since that Ronnie Clark defeat? What have you learned about that fight and what do you regret doing during that fight? I've learned that I can take a fight on short notice and fight for 12 rounds. That's what I've learned. Not many fighters can do that. I've learned that I'm super fit. Not naturally fit, I'm super fit. Not many fighters can do that. So yeah, that's what I've learned. Obviously fighting on the undercard of Josh Warrington versus Kid Galad as well. What are your thoughts on that fight? Um, it's a great fight. The best man will win. Two cool guys. It is what it is, man. The best man will win. What does your head tell you with regards to who are you back in? I will answer that again. The best man will win. The both of them are friends. We're cool with both of them. Best man will win. And then obviously during the night on Saturday, Tyson Fury fights Tom Schwartz again. Your thoughts on that fight? Fury will mash him up, man. Fury's the man. Fury will mash him up. And he'll look good doing it too. And obviously a couple of weeks ago, Anthony Joshua suffered a shock defeat to Andrew Ruiz Jr. What was your reaction to the fight? Um, obviously I was gutted for him. Still gutted for him, but he'll rebuild and come back. How do you see the rematch going if I was to take that, up, that clause up straight away? Um, I think Joshua, Anthony Joshua will beat him. My opinion, I think he'll beat him. Well, Zalfa Barrett, I appreciate your time. Thanks, Peter Boxing Social. Yo, respect, big man. Thank you so much.